folks greetings for the day hope you and your family are safe today we are going to discuss about structure of java program till now we have just gone through the basics and it is most of theoretical part now let's move on to the actual part of java programming before writing any java programs or any actual programs you need to know its structure if you know its structure you can write your programs very easily so before writing any programming language it is necessary to know its structure as well here the java programming is an object oriented programming language means the java program will always include classes and objects in it not only java program whichever the programming language is object oriented will always consist of classes and objects in it here the java program will always start with class followed by class name here class is a keyword which is followed by class name here class should be always in small letters and its name should always start with capital letter and it is must to start your java program with class keyword followed by class name and it will have some scope which will be enclosed with flower braces and this is the scope of class to execute any program we should have main method in it in the same way java will also have main method as public static void main string arches here main is a method name that i have specified which is accepting one argument here string is a class you need to remember one thing here string is starting with capital letter means here whatever the words that are starting with capital letters in java will always be treated as classes and it have argument which is accepting empty arguments it is not accepting any arguments in it and i have specified void as my return type because i am not going to return anything hence i have specified void as a return type and as i said before java program should always include classes and names by using class name we can create an object but here in this program i am not going to create any objects to my program hence i am going to make use of static as a keyword if i am not creating any objects in our program then we can make use of static as a keyword and here public is an access specifier which specify the type of access and it should also have some scope which is main method scope so you are including class and main method but you are not printing anything so if you want to see it is uh, uh, like giving something you need to have some print statement in that so in c python and all you will have printf or print but in java we have system dot out dot println so whatever you include in this double quotes will be printed as it is in your output screen so here as i said before class name should always start with capital letter and here the system is starting its name with capital letter yes then it will be treated as class and out is an object and print is an method here ln is an option optional that you can make use of ln or print only so this is all about the structure of java program so quickly let's see the example now let's take hello world here we need to print hello world in our output screen so as i said before we should have class and uh, that should be followed by class name here the class name is first program and which is enclosing with flower braces and to execute any program we should have main method so i have included some main method which have its scope and to print anything we should have print statement in program so i have included system dot out dot print ln so whatever you write in this double quotes will be printed as it is in your output screen so now we are going to get output as a hello world it will be very easy if you do it on anson 
but as of now due to some reasons i couldn't able to do it and so on so i have just showed it on ppt but in further videos i'll make sure that i'll do it everything on hands on thank you